Hey everyone, this is a medium difficulty ratio mixtures question. It's a medium difficulty question, but if you understand how to solve it in one of the two methods that we're going to be looking at today, this question should not take you anything more than 15 seconds. Right? That's, I'm not joking. It's 15 seconds is what you'll take to crack this question with the second method that we'll be learning as the part of solving this question. Before we get started, one quick thing. Have you subscribed to the channel? So thank you so much. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel right away and turn on notifications, right? Let's get started. Let's read this question. In what ratio should a 20% methyl alcohol solution be mixed with a 50% methyl alcohol solution? Lesser methyl alcohol in the first one, more in the second one. So you're going to get a final solution, which is going to have something between 20 and 50. That's expected. How much does it have? It's got 40% methyl alcohol. Got 20% methyl alcohol with 50% methyl alcohol. You put them together in some ratio that what you get net net has got 40% methyl alcohol, right? This is the ratio in which we should basically get one of these is the answers, right? Quickly run through using the first method, which is a typical weighted average method. I'm going to assign a few variables. Solution one, we'll take it to be X liters in volume, Y liters in volume. So essentially what we are trying to find out is if this is 11 liters and this is 19 liters, we're mixing them in the ratio of 11 is to 19. So you're trying to find out what is this X is to Y, right? That is what our final answer is all going to be right now the strength of the first solution is 20 percent so 20 percent of x liters which if i write it in terms of decimal will be 0 0.2 20 upon 100 which is 0.2 x is the amount of is the volume of methyl alcohol in the first mixture second one y liters is the volume strength is 50 percent so half of it, which is 0 0.5 of what volume of Y liters is a amount of, is a quantum of quantity of methyl alcohol that we have. So how much methyl alcohol do we totally have from the two solutions? 0 0.2 X plus 0 0.5 Y from the first one, from the second one. Net net, what is the total volume we have? X liters of the first solution, Y of the second one. So X plus Y is the total volume we have. And what do they tell us? They're saying that once you've mixed it in some ratio, this X is to Y ratio, the final solution has got 40% methyl alcohol in it. So it's 40% of what? 40% of X plus Y. So this final solution is going to have 40 upon 100, which is 0 0.4 times X plus Y. This is the quantity of methyl alcohol when I look at it as the final concentration and final volume. But this methyl alcohol that I'm talking about, where did it come from? 0.2x came from the first solution, 0.5y came from the second one. So that 0.2x plus 0.5y is the amount of methyl alcohol when I look at it as how I mixed it. This is the amount of methyl alcohol when I look at it as to how much I have it finally. These two should obviously be equal to each other. So this is equal to 0.2x plus 0.5y. So all this, we have one equation in two variables. We're not trying to find out what is X, what is Y. We're actually trying to find out X is to Y, the ratio. We're actually trying to find out X upon Y. Let's see how to go about it. Expand this, 0.4X plus 0.4Y is equal to 0.2X plus 0.5Y. Take this Y term to the right hand side and the X term to the left hand side. 0.4X minus 0.2X will leave us with a 0.2X is, let's see what, do you have an equal to sign? Yes, we do have an equal to sign. Equal to, what on the right hand side? On the right hand side, we have 0.5y minus 0.4y, which is equal to a 0.1y. What did we say we are trying to find out? We are trying to find out x is to y, which is essentially x upon y. Bring the y to the denominator, we'll be having x upon y here. Take the 0.2 to the right hand side's denominator, so that will make it as 0.1 upon 0.2. So x upon y is 0.1 upon 0.2, which is nothing but 1 by 2. So in what ratio should we mix this x is to y, which is to be mixed in the ratio of 1 is to 2, right? This is the answer. We'll look at what the correct answer is in a subsequent slide. Now let's see if we can solve it using method 2. This is called rule of allegation. We have done it extensively in our online course but I'll quickly run you through this to get you familiar. The low concentration is 20%, so let's write it as 20. The high concentration is 50. So what is the mean or the weighted average concentration that we have? We have a concentration of 40. So low, high, and let's call it as the mean that we have. What ratio should I mix it? High minus mean is to mean minus low, right? But this pictorial representation actually makes it easy for you to get to the answer in a jiffy. 
50 minus 40 is at 10. This is mean minus low, which is 40 minus 20, which is equal to 20. So in what ratio are we mixing it? 10 is to 20 or 1 is to 2. Is this the same answer that we got here? Yes, 1 is to 2. Look at it, this all the time it takes you. Low concentration, high concentration, mean. High minus mean is to mean minus low is the ratio in which you're going to mix the low and high. So it takes you exactly 15 seconds. 10, 20, 50, 40. 50 minus 40 is 10. 40 minus 20 is 20. 10 is to 20 or 1 is to 2 is the answer. Quickly look at the answer options. 1 is to 2 is choice A. This, this says choice B. Choice A is the correct answer to this question. Now let's look at a bonus question. In what ratio should a mixture which comprises one third methyl alcohol be mixed, right? What ratio should a one third methyl alcohol solution be mixed with a three fourths methyl alcohol solution so that the resultant solution has 50% methyl alcohol in it? Try and solve this bonus question even to start with using the rule of allegation method, right? So set the rule of allegation, low concentration, high concentration, and what is the mean? 50% which is the mean, write it as one by two, right? You have one third, three fourths, one by two figure out how this basically pans out. See with which of these five answer options is right. And post your answers to the comment section of this video. Best wishes for your GMAT preparation.